AOPS number theory 5.29. A certain integer has 20 positive divisors. A. What is the smallest number of primes that could divide the integer? So if if you want the, you could have the exponent, the first exponent plus 1 is equal to 20. That means that the exponent is equal to 19. So that's prime 1 to the power of 19. So there, there could be one exponent. B. What is the largest number of primes that could divide the integer? So 20 is equal to 2 times 2 times 5. So prime 1 to the power of 1 times prime 2 to the power of 1 times prime 3 to the power of 4 because 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 minus 1 is 1 and 5 minus 1 is 4. Now C. What is the smallest natural number that has exactly 20 positive divisors? So 20 is equal to 4 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 and it's also equal to 4 plus 1 times 3 plus 1, and it's also equal to 9 plus 1 times 1 plus 1, and it's also equal to 19 plus 1. So if you try the first one, which is 4 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1, then that could, that would, the smallest value would be 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 1 times 5 to the power of 1, which is 240, which is greater than which, 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 never mind, which probably won't be the smallest, but it could be so. Now, 2, 4 plus 1 times 3 plus 1. So the smallest would be 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 3, and that's equal to 432. Now, 3, 2 to the power of 9 times 3 to the power of 1. So that's equal to... 1536 and the last one is 19 plus 1 so 2 to the power of 19 is equal to this number so the smallest is 240 so 240 is the answer now d are there any natural numbers smaller than your answer from c that have more than 20 positive divisors so 240 is less than 256, which is equal to 2 to the power of 8. So that means there's no prime factorization greater than 7. So if 2 to the power of tn is equal to 21, then the minimum value would be 2 to the power of 6 times 3 to the power of 2. If t to the power of n is equal to 24, then the minimum, minimum value would be 360. If it's 25, it's 1,296. And if it's 30, it's 480, so none of them is less than 240, so no. AOPS number 5.30. For some natural number n, the integer 6n has 9 positive divisors. A. How many prime divisors are factors of 6n? So t 6n is is equal to 9 because it has 9 positive divisors and 9 is equal to 3 times 3 and it's also equal to 1 times 9 but that won't work so 3 times 3 is equal to 2 times 1 times 2 times 1 which is equal which is which is equal to 2 So there are two prime numbers that are factors of 6n. Now b, what is the exponent of each of those primes that is in the prime factorization of 6n? So the exponent is 2 and 2 because it's 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. So the exponents are 2 and 2. AOPS number theory 5.30. For, for some natural number n, the integer 6n has 9 positive divisors. C. What is n? So 6 can be divided into 2 and 3. So 
for n, it can be 2 squared times 3 squared because the number of divisors would, well, since the prime factorizations are 2 to the power of 1 and 3 to the power of 1, then that number would be 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 times 3 to the power of 1 plus 1, which is 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2, which is 36. So that means 6n is equal to 36. So if 6n is equal to 36, then n is equal to 6. AOPS 5.31, what is the sum of all positive integers less than 100 that have exactly 12 divisors? So 12 is equal to 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and 2 times 2 times 3. So if it's 1 times 12, then it could be it has to be p to the prime to the power of prime or p to the power of 11. So this um it can be 2 to the power of 11, which is 2048. Because if you want it less than 100, you should test the smallest number first. But 2048 is more than 100, so it's absolutely not. Now the second the second case could is 2 times 6, so it has to be p to the power of 1 times q to the power of 5. p and q are both primes. So that's equal to, so that if you do 3 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of 5, that's the smallest, and it's 96. Now the third one is 3 times 4, so you could do p, uh, p to the power of 2 times times q to the power of 3 so that's 3 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 6 would be the smallest so that's 72 and if you flip it around and do 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 3 that's 108 which is greater than 100 so no now the fourth one is 2 times 2 times 3, so p to the power of 1 times q to the power of 1 times r to the power of 2. So that's equal to 2, uh, 2 to the power of 1 times 5 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 2, which is 2 times 5 times 9, which is 90. You could also just flip the numbers around and 60, 84, but 126 is too big, so no. So the sum of all of it would be 96 plus... 72 plus 90 plus 60 plus 84, which is 402.